Trinsali Magistrate Court in Machinga Province has found UPND Sasheke Member of Parliament, Romeo Kangombe, with a case to answer. This is a matter in which he is charged with four counts of abduction and assault of two police officers. Chinsali Senior Resident Magistrate uh, Julius Malata says Mr. Kangombe has been found with a case to answer in all the four counts. Magistrate Malata has since placed Mr. Kangombe on his defense. The matter has been adjourned to January 23rd, 2021 for opening of defense. Constitutional Court Judge uh, Ino Kumulembe has died. Chief Administrator of the Judiciary, Nalisha Limata, confirmed the death to ZMBC News this morning. Ms. Limata say Justice Mulembe died this morning. Funeral gathering is at Plot 52, Chalala, of uh, Mosio Tunya Road. According to the judiciary, details of the funeral service will be communicated in due course. Justice Mulembe, who was born on November 20th, 1968, graduated from the University of Zambia in 1992 with a Bachelor of Laws degree with merit. He was a judge of the Constitutional Court, having been appointed to the position on March 11, 2016. Prior to his current appointment, he served as Director and Chief Executive Officer at the Zambia Institute of Advanced Legal Education, Ziali. The Zambia Revenue Authority has intercepted two fuel tankers that were allegedly being used to smuggle 80,000 litres of fuel worth over 1 million kwacha. The Direct Com Commissioner of Customs, Sydney Chavaka, says the trucks were intercepted in Chirundu and escorted to Lusaka for further investigations. Mr. Chibavuka says the investigations have also led the authority to examine activities of seven other companies in the country whose import declarations are questionable. Speaking during an inspection of the trucks at the ZRA warehouse, Mr. Chibabuka said the two trucks have been seized and the fuel will be disposed of in accordance with the provisions of the Customs and Excise Act. He disclosed that the fuel will be donated to the security wings after the disposal order is obtained from the court. Lusaka Province Minister Boman Lusambo has directed immigration officers uh, to investigate three directors at Carnival Furniture who have allegedly sold company assets with a view of leaving the country without honoring the country's labor laws. Mr. Lusambo, who this afternoon met some of the workers of the chain store at Manda Hill, is disturbed that more than 200 workers are at risk of losing their jobs following the closure of five retail outlets in some parts of the country. He states that the directors should not leave the country until they resolve issues regarding the fate of their workers. Mr. Lusambo says he will work with the Ministry of Labor to ensure the employees get their dues in line with the labor laws. According to the leader of uh, Carnival Furniture, Francis Mwanga, the directors of the chain store who have since gone into hiding have been selling assets of the company. So we have also seen um, uh, a lot of people who have been, you know, uh, uncertified to come and close the branches without any certificates or clearance from the court. Mm. So the disposal of trucks has also been going on. Like yesterday, two trucks were disposed mm. without the notification of uh, concerned parties. Uh, the Minister of Labor, uh, I know that they are doing everything possible to arrest this situation. But I want, first of all, uh, to say uh, those uh, uh, people have been uh, managing carnival furniture in Zambia. I just want to know exactly what has been going on. So my assurance to you, uh, my brothers and sisters, is that uh, I'm with you. And the government of His Excellency Edgar Chagwalungu, uh, we, are, we are together in this. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, leave a comment, and subscribe.